News alert on a story we brought to you last hour. Screen left, Rashad Hussein, the president's new pick as liaison to the Muslim world. Screen right, Sami Al Arian, a man who pleaded guilty years ago to helping a dangerous terror group. One author says Hussein expressed sympathy openly for Al, -Al, -Al Arian. The White House now telling us that is not true. Shannon Green made some calls. She joins us live in Washington with some new reporting on this. Shannon, what have we learned? Hi, Megan. Well, you know the White House is attributing these comments to Layla Al-Aryan, Sami Al-Aryan's daughter. They say she was also on that same panel discussion that Rashad Hussein was at. She made the comments, and they were misattributed uh, to him. Well, I called the author of the article, the original young woman who was there, and wrote the article. She told me, I worked with Layla Al-Aryan. I know her. I would never confuse these two people. As to Rashad Hussein's comments, she stands by those quotes. She said, if I wrote that somebody said it, it's because they said it. If I quoted them, that is the person who said it. She is standing by that today. I talked with her just a short time ago today. Uh, she said this was years ago, but she recalled the event. She's looking for her notes to try to back up uh, what she believes to be the case. She says, I understand being a journalist. I know the importance of quoting the right person. I've never mixed up my quotes or misquoted anyone. She also says, uh, as you remember, this article was written back in 2004. It later appears, more recent versions, without the quotes from Rashad Hussein. She says she was never contacted about changing the article about the fact that anybody was claiming to be misquoted. So in her mind, she never knew the article was doctored or changed or revised in any way until she was contacted just over the last few days. So, uh, Megan, right now she's standing by those quotes. And there are questions about why uh, that, that bit in her article was deleted, because this is a man who works uh, for the administration now as a lawyer and is just now being elevated to this position of envoy, uh, in essence, to the Muslim world. So the author standing by her story that it was Rashad Hussein who made these remarks, the White House saying that's not true. It was the daughter of Al Arian. The original reporting does draw that distinction, saying Al Arian's daughter said some things, but then Rashad Hussein weighed in. Shannon Bream has the latest reporting. Uh, you're going to hear more about this today here on Fox, no doubt, as uh, the White House continues to get up to speed on what the latest reporting is. Shannon Bream, thank you so much. We'll stay on it. We appreciate sure. it.